Hi, this is Ocean K with a detailed look at the A13 VCA voltage control amplifier. Now, VCA, as the name implies, is a way of controlling the amplitude of a sound source based on a CV signal. Now, if you've watched the detailed video for the A14 ADSR, that's one way of generating a CV signal that can drive a VCA. But any CV signal will actually work. Now, let's start by looking at the back of the device. We've got two audio in jacks and one audio out jack. Now, here we can bring in uh, one of our VCO waveforms into the in, and our out is already hooked up to our mix channel. Now, right now we're hearing a constant signal because we don't have any CV signals coming in yet to modify the amplitude. If we bring in the CV out from our envelope generator, and have our sequencer drive our envelope generator, then our MIDI keyboard can control the envelope generator, which is then controlling the VCA and determining when our signal passes through. Now, when we look back at the front, we see that we have a, a gain trim knob, we've got an in one trim knob, an in two trim knob, and an out trim. And to hear those, That's a trim of the signal that's coming in. That's a trim of our audio signal uh, coming in. And that's a trim of our audio signal going out. Now we've also got this CV2 uh, knob. Now if we look at the back, Gain is the CV in that controls the amplitude, but we can actually drive it through a second CV uh, source in, our CV2. And that means that uh, we can have, for example, both an envelope and an LFO setting the amplitude of an audio signal. And when there is a signal going in, the CV2 is the trim for that. Now, on the back, we've already talked about the audio ins, the gain in, and the CV2 in. The rest of these CV uh, ins correspond to the rest of the dials on the front of the device. Now, if you've watched the other A-Series detail videos, you'll already know that every knob in the A-Series has dual functions. When there's nothing connected to the corresponding CV of in of that knob, the knob sets the static value. In this case, the levels of the audio and the CV trims. But when the corresponding CV in is, is connected, has something connected to it, the incoming CV signal controls the value and the corresponding knob on the front becomes a trim for that incoming CV signal. So in this case, when there's nothing hooked up to our uh, in one CV in, then the volume is determined by the static knob. But if we have an LFO that goes into our in, then when we play, we see that our in is being controlled by that LFO. And our uh, in knob now becomes a trim for that. If it's at zero, we hear none of the LFO. If it's at 100%, we hear all of the LFO. So when there is something connected to the CV in of a corresponding knob, the CV signal controls the value and the knob becomes a trim. But when there's nothing connected to the CV in, the knob becomes the static value. Well, that's what the rest of these CV ins are for, just corresponding CV ins for all of these dials. Now there's one thing left. We've got a switch here between a linear and exponential. This determines the CV uh, mapping to amplitude, whether it's just a linear map or an exponential map. Well, that's it for the A13 VCA.